Federal judge rejects Trump request for new trial in E. Jean Carroll suit says he must pay $83.3 million. Trump attorneys requested a new trial in the case and a stay on the judgment. A federal judge in New York rejected former President Donald Trump's appeal of the $83.3 million fine the jury awarded E. John Carroll, after he denied allegations, he raped her in the 1990s. The judge also denied his request for a new trial. A federal jury decided in January that Trump must pay $18.3 million in compensatory damages and $65 million in punitive damages. Trump and his attorneys filed a motion requesting a new trial in the case, arguing that the court limited his testimony during the trial and that statements he made about her allegations were meant to defend his reputation, protect his family, and defend his presidency. In their motion for a new trial, Trump's lawyers argued that the court severely limited the former president's testimony, which they say influenced the jury's verdict. Trump attorneys also filed a stay on the $83.3 million judgment. A federal jury in New York City decided last year that Trump was not liable for rape, but was liable for sexual abuse and defamation. The former president was ordered to pay $5 million in that trial. Carol, who alleged that Trump raped her at the Bergdorf Goodman department store across from Trump Tower in Manhattan sometime in 1996, was seeking $12 million. Trump, the 2024 GOP frontrunner, has repeatedly and vehemently denied the allegation. His denial resulted in Carol slapping Trump with a defamation lawsuit, claiming his response caused harm to her reputation. The jury found Carol was injured as a result of statements Trump made while in the White House in June 2019. The jury awarded Carol $7.3 million in compensatory damages, other than the Reputational Repair Program and $11 million in damages for the Reputational Repair Program. The jury found Trump's statements were made to harm Carol and awarded her $65 million in punitive damages. In total, the jury said Carol should be paid $83.3 million.